What's good with y'all boys, man? I hope y'all are staying blessed as always and welcome back to a brand new video. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how we make shots like this. So step back, shot creator, mid-range pull-up, three-point pull-up shots that, that you see people making. And you're like, yo, I wanna make those too. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make these little spin shots, how to make little shot creator shots like that. I'm gonna go over a really lethal badge combination, but that's not all I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna be going over all the animations to do stuff like this, my entire badge loadout, and even the dribbling animations that I have on my 610 build. So if y'all are ready for today's video, go ahead and drop me a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already subscribed, and have the notification bell on because we've been streaming every Every day. With all that being said, man, let's go ahead and get into this deadly badge combo. Now, this is my shooting badge loadout for my 610, but the deadly badge combo is Mini Magician and Space Creator, both Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame Space Creator improves step back shots, and you can even catch ankles and Hall of Fame level you get with an 83 three point rating. Now, I know all of my builds have at least an 83 three point rating, so all of my builds can get Hall of Fame Space Creator, and we can really make those tough shot creator flashy shots paired up with mini magician and boost your mid-range shots that's for mid-range pull-ups too and if you do a step back in the mid-range not only do you have space creator but you also have mini magician for you now you only need a 73 three-point rating for gold mini magician that's really good you can rock your bronze or if you have an 81 mid-range you can have the hall of fame mini magician and those two badges combined will open up your green window so much you can feel it whenever you're on the court playing don't forget to run agent threes bronze green machine or even gold green machine and at least bronze and now on the finishing badges i have the gold fearless gold limitless takeoff and silver posterizer you guys want to have the the limitless takeoff and posterizer maxed out as much as you can and if you're gonna rock acrobat do silver bronze acrobat really ain't nothing we already went over shooting badges now playmaking i have quick first step maxed out only at silver and i promise you guys if you guys are making a 610 the silver is just fine you don't need hall of fame i promise you silver will be just fine now we have silver unpluggable too i don't really be getting stripped that much but you will get stripped more than Hall of Fame Unpluckable, but I promise, Silver Unpluckable is fine. Defense, we just have what's necessary. You know, we got a little bit of anchor, a little bit of rebound chaser. Bronze Challenger, that's a really good budget badge, tested by 2K Labs. Silver Chase Down Artists, you get some Chase Down Blocks, and just a little here and there with the defensive badges. If you guys are subscribers of the channel, you guys know I get all of my information from the 2K Labs Premium Membership, and those dudes test everything by themselves because 2K be lying about the, the jump shot grades, the speeds of the animations, and just things like that. So 2K Labs goes in and they, they test everything and get it to a T, bro. So if you guys want a 2K Labs premium membership by yourself and to look at everything for yourself so you guys have the spreadsheet, go ahead and use code COZA. You get 20% off of the premium membership. So I got y'all boys with that. Now these takeovers are criminally overlooked, bro. Take a look at ankle breaking shots. Increases the likelihood of dropping defenders and making step back and spin jumpers. So anytime you take a step back or a spin jumper, this will give you a huge boost to your shot rating. It'll open up your green window and it'll increase your make percentage and i even have the juice perk on now the juice perk gives even a greater boost to your takeover ratings bro so you get plus eight in your primary category juice gives you an even greater boost than plus eight so whenever i have juice on and then i have double ankle ankle breaking shots my mid range and my step back green window and make percentage is through the roof now i still agree that if you have accelerator park you should run accelerator over everything but if you ain't grinding for that accelerator i know a lot of people don't have accelerator because you have to play through the entire my career story the juice part you get from a park little quest thing it pops up sometimes go ahead and talk to everybody around the park try to look for the juice perk it's there some weeks and then that's how i got it i just had to play like i, I had to score like 500 points in, in the park or the city or whatever and i got the juice perk and it was well worth it so so far we got y'all set on the badge loadouts the badge combination and what you should be primarily focused on and even the takeovers that get overlooked by a lot of people but that still leaves the question what hot bag jumper animation do you have on that gives you that huge step back what dribble pull up do you have on that gives you that non-contestable fade away what dribble moves do you have on so you can create your own shot and we're about to go over that all right now so now for the dribble pull up you want to use kevin durant it'll give you a big fade away you'll lean back and it's very very hard to contest this fade away i love this fade away so if you're x if you're 610 plus or even below 610 you can use the kevin durant fade away now spin jumper i'm using kevin durant which probably isn't the best so you probably go with basic or normal but right now i'm just showing y'all what i'm rocking hop jumper this is the biggest most important animation that you need if you are 610 plus that you unlock the kevin durant hop jumper that's 
that's what gives you the big hop back that you just seen there you could run run to the rim kind of fake it and then hop all the way back out you're 610 already and the animation gives you enough space as it is but you just get that big launch back and that fadeaway will be open now post fade i use kobe bryant along with the post hop shot i also use kobe bryant so if you guys want to cheese the in the post a little bit those animations can be for you and then i'm not going to go through every individual you know dribble move just have them all right here for you guys if you guys want to copy them down or try them out yourselves and that is pretty much everything on my 610 kevin durant build don't forget the big badge combination the mini magician paired up with the hall of fame space creator i'm telling you guys even if you guys can get mini magician gold it is such a big w if you can get hall of fame even better but space creator hall of fame you get at an 83 three-point rating even if you can only get it gold you guys can still rock and do some deadly moves with that you guys don't need these badges hall of fame i'm just showing you guys what i'm rocking on my kevin durant build and you guys with the with the dribble moves you guys can create your own shot you guys can get to a spot you guys can get to that side little baseline fadeaway that people love to use in older 2ks like 2k19 and 2k20 i love that shot being able to create your shot even if they get there you know it's hard to contest the fadeaway and even if you know like they play your drive you can have the hop back so you guys have a lot of moves in your arsenal with this little badge loadout and animation loadout we'll be dropping a newer dribble tutorial for my 610 plus people but for right now i already do have one dribble tutorial for you guys for the 610 with pretty much the same animations that i got on right now so if you guys haven't seen this video right here definitely give it a watch until i upload a newer updated 610 dribble tutorial from this tutorial you'll get pretty much everything you want to learn but that being said, I just want to, you know, go over in this video how much this badge combinations has helped my game, bruh, and how much these animations has helped my game and just made the game more fun for me to play, especially on my 610 build. Now, if you guys are under 610, there are still some good hop jumpers that you can use. There's still some good animations that you can use. But if you are 610 and above, the Kevin Durant hop jumper is by far the best hop jumper in the game. That's just something that they have over everybody that's 69 and under. And if you guys didn't know i've been streaming for a week straight so if you guys are watching this video definitely tune in to the live streams to come see this live make sure you have the notification bell on even if you have it on just go ahead turn it off and turn it back on definitely refresh it so the notifications get refreshed again while you're there if you haven't liked the video already go ahead and like it and i hope this video helped you guys out and helped you guys expand your game and kind of you know put some moves in your arsenal that you haven't put in yet i've been having a ton of fun on 2k23 despite what everybody else says i've been switching up builds and heights and animations figuring out badge loadouts and just keeping the game refreshed for me so hopefully i can do the same for you guys with that all being said y'all i love y'all boys i appreciate all the support and i'll catch y'all in the next video or stream